From Zimbabwe here at the African Development Bank annual meetings in Lusaka, Zambia. Chiesa, thank you very much for uh, speaking with us. Uh, bring us up to speed. What is the state of energy in Zimbabwe? Uh, thank you very much for having me. Um, well, in Zimbabwe, uh, we have a 40% electrification rate. And uh, of that 40%, 83% are in the urban areas. 17% are in the rural areas. And for that 17%, it's mainly accounted for by mission hospitals, um, uh, growth points and service centers, you know, the big schools. And that really leaves uh, very little access for the households, the local schools, the local clinics, you know. And uh, yeah, we have um, the grid. Uh, so mostly industry and uh, the, the households in the, in the urban centers are, are powered by the conventional electricity. And um, those that have been reached out in the rural uh, communities through the grid, uh, as I say, the, mainly the service centers and the big schools. So there is, uh, there is need and, uh, for, for the government to be focusing on distributed renewables uh, to, to extend um, uh, you know, the energy service to communities that live in hard to reach areas and uh, you know, that would take one a very long time to get them, uh, to reach them through the grid and, and also it would take uh, lots of money to, to be invested in order to push the grid and reach out to, to communities in isolated uh, areas. In terms of what you are doing, your, your agency is doing in Zimbabwe, yep. uh, talk to us about Power for All, what solutions are you delivering uh, and at what cost are these coming to the ordinary people can mm -hmm. be afforded? Mm -hmm. So Power for All is a, is a global campaign that promotes uh, the use of distributed renewables uh, and the deployment of distributed renewables in order to achieve uh, universal access. Uh, we actually believe we can achieve universal access by 2025 by deploying distributed renewables. And uh, this ranges from picosolar uh, products. These are our solar portable lights. Uh, we can move to solar home systems, uh, mini grids. And um, really, it's, it's about no, leaving no one behind. It's about the time that it takes to reach out. I mean, distributed renewables are readily available. They're affordable, and they're a practical solution in reaching out to communities faster. So a, a, World, a World Bank um, a survey that was done study, uh, it showed that for big uh, conventional projects, it, they would take an average about nine years uh, to be completed. And when we're looking at the global ambition that we have of uh, reaching out uh, to everyone, universal access by 2030, it's only 14 years left. And in those 14 years, what can we do if we're focusing on just conventional electricity and business as usual? We need solutions and we need solutions now. We need solutions for those kids who are going to school. They need different options. Uh, they need to be expo exposed to the different technologies that are available mm. so that they are up to speed. And, uh, uh, I also have a question. Are yeah. uh, the rural people in Zimbabwe, for example, how mm -hmm. much are they spending on alternative energy? If you bring new solutions yes. to the table, mm -hmm. would they be able to afford it? Definitely, they're able to afford. Um, well, there's a raw market study that was conducted by SNV in Zimbabwe, and it showed that the potential of the rural market, the solar rural market in Zimbabwe, is worth about $67 million. And in terms of willingness to pay and ability to pay, communities are willing to pay. Why? Because already they're spending outrageous amounts on, on dirty fossil fuels, on kerosene and candles. And if we do the, the math right, and they invest in, in uh, say, so a solar portable light. They're able to save about 8% of what they're using already uh, in, in, in energy access. So at the moment, communities are using about 10% of their household income uh, on, on, on dirty fuels. But if they invest, say, in a solar portable light, studies have shown that they would be spending about 2% 
of their household income. And where, where does the, that saving go to? They use it for uh, paying school fees for their children. They use it uh, for getting uh, agricultural uh, produce, you know, seeds to, to till and to, to plant in their, in their fields. Uh, they use it for buying food. So really it's, it's a matter of they, they are able to afford, it's a matter of reaching out to the communities and uh, raising awareness of the different technologies that are available on the market. If you look at these challenges, do you think they are peculiar to, to Zimbabwe? Is it within the entire Southern African community? Are you reaching out to countries outside Zimbabwe to bring these kind of solutions to them? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not just for Zimbabwe. I mean, it's for the whole of Africa. Uh, but in, indeed, in, in Southern Africa, we have uh, made efforts to reach out to, to SADC uh, so that we're able to share lessons from from East Africa where the market uh, of distributed renewables has grown exponentially and you know uh, trying to influence the governments and uh, the policy makers to be able to to work on policy reforms that enable the accelerated growth of the distributed renewables energy market. Oh, thank you very much, Idza, for speaking to us. We, are, we appreciate your, uh, your country uh, specific as far as Zimbabwe is concerned and the entire Southern African community. We appreciate your time. Thank you, thank very, you very much. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you.